Alright, welcome back to Gamer News. Today we're looking once again at Assassin's Creed Shadows, which is releasing in November. Somehow this has gotten even worse than it was before. We talked about the last news story about how they were taking flag designs from a historical Japanese reenactment group and they had apologized and striked the designs because they were copyright. Well, it looks like they stole a little bit more than just the flags. Big trouble in Japan. Ubisoft is committing to damage control after multiple news stories covering the design copyright claims from a reenactment group in Japan. We talked about them before. Now even the game logo has received a copyright claim, meaning that it's not just the flag designs that were stolen from the game. Yep, the game logo, which I showed in the before screen, not this screen. The main game logo, I think I have it. Yeah, this logo right here. The main game logo, the actual design for this game logo is was claimed by the re reenactment group. So the game logo itself, the the um, I don't know what the structure is called on the back, but the structure in the back with the two flags on a hill, that design is actually from the reenactment group too. So they literally design they literally not only took the flag designs but also the entire game logo is now receiving a copyright claim so they've had to apologize again to the group they've had to change the design to feature trees and such what they've added is basically these trees as you can see on the left hand side so they basically made the game logo instead of a square now it's a rectangle so instead of you can see how now it's off center like the gate used to be in the center but now it's off center now there's trees that line the left hand side it looks off center, but that's the new game logo because they can't have the um, the gate thing in the middle with, with the hill and the flags. They can't have that in the middle because that would be a copyright claim. So they changed the game logo, and now they're getting even more controversial. But this is more the fan base's fault. My opinion is that people are mad because the game includes a black samurai. As you've seen with the controversy, the game's inclusion of the histor first historically black samurai, Yasuki. The controversy of game of including Yuzuki for a diversity stunt, or is Yuzuki an accurate portrayal of a real life samurai? It's the second one. Yuzuki's cool. If you ever read his life story, I would as would I actually read it when I was going through this story and putting together um, my presentation for this news story. He's actually a really cool guy. He has African origins. He was he was take he was taken to Japan, and he grew up as a samurai. So he still is a samurai, he still does the code of honor stuff, he still has his own unique fighting skills, but that's that's something that shouldn't be a controversial. It shouldn't be controversial. The game is taking a new look, talking about a historical figure that existed in, in the age of samurais in Japan. So, is my, so the question is, is it a diversity stunt? No, they're just going for a new uh, game style, as was released by the game. Dual protagonist. The game boasts the dual protagonist strategy of having two main characters for the player to control. One is Yusuke, while, while other is Noah, the Japanese shinobi. The idea is still new, but does offer a new playstyle for the As Assassin's Creed games. Exactly. This is a dual protagonist. You can either play as the shinobi or the samurai, and you can either play as Yusuke or Noah. So, they're not doing it as a diversity stunt. They're just doing it as something new and something on something new to the Assassin's Creed game series. We've never seen a dual protagonist strategy, and it offers new fighting styles, new ways to play the game, and I think it's going to be cool. I think people are I think people are just mad because Yusuke is a black protagonist. We've seen this in many games beforehand, and people are just upset because they're like, why is the why why is why is there a, sam a black samurai in the game? That's not historically accurate, but it is historically accurate. Yusuke was a real, actual samurai that existed and lived in, in real life. Life. He has a wiki page. He has a documentary about him. He has many documentaries about him. I read his life story, a short snippet of his life, like a short biography about him. And yeah, he went through the, he went through the ranks. He became a samurai through through the classic samurai way of you you have to you have to fight his way up. He made it up to to the title of samurai. I mean, he literally started at the lowest sit, lowest level of society and became one of the greatest samurais. So, he's a real person who went through who went through his historic life and he's not just a diversity play. 
they're just taking a real life samurai and putting him in the game and he's only one of the main characters you can if you don't if you're really going to be that stupid and be that dense about there being a black samurai you can just play the shinobi character just play the shinobi character and you'll be fine it's a dual protagonist so just just go with just go with the shinobi character don't even play the samurai if you were just going to be that dense about it and that's what i gotta say about that i mean it's just dumb it's a yusuke is a real life person a real life historical figure and people are just being upset over it i mean but you and ubisoft is uh, helping this matter ubisoft once again pins the blame solely on the fact that the creative teams come up with a story lore and they have no control of the game untrue they can control the story if they want to but they did a good thing by letting the creative team actually be creative and make an actual actual historical character that many people wouldn't know. The fact that people are complaining that there is a black samurai in the game just shows that people that this needed to happen. No one knew that Yusuke was an actual real life samurai. People would be like, wait, there were no black samurai, but there actually was. There actually was one. There were actually several if you read his story that he wasn't entirely the first, he was just the greatest of them. So yeah, there were black samurais. People are just being dense and they don't want to learn about history. They don't want to realize that, hey, there were black samurai. I wouldn't have known this until I was like, is Yusuke a real person? Looks him up and realizes, yeah, he is. And he wasn't the first and he wasn't the last. The main blame is, is that a small minority of the fan base who only hate the game because it has a black protagonist. That That's the people who should be blamed for the controversy. They're just being dense. They saw a black samurai, they were scared, and they were like, I don't think that that's historically accurate, but it is. And when someone told them that it was, they were like, no, 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 I don't believe that. I, I believe that samurais are only big, tall Japanese men, and that's the only thing I will learn. Even though that there are female sam samurais in history as well, people just don't talk about them because that's not the stereotype. It's all stereotypical. People don't picture a a giant a big black man as a samurai but they should because there was one in history there were several yusuke's just the most famous one the game's just being creative and here's where it gets controversial the worst person you should ever judge your base on the boss of assassin's creed mark alexis cody responded to tweets from elon musk the an actual irl supervillain that criticized the game for including yuki saying it was only for dei matters DEI is the dumbest three letters you will ever see. I mean, it's just like CRT. It's the dumbest thing to ever complain about. Yusuke is an IRL real person, just like Elon Musk is an IRL supervillain. He literally picks his teeth with a toothpick and his own finger. I mean, Cody's statements reflect that the game is a fictional storyline based on historical events and figures. Yeah, Yusuke is an historical figure. He's a black samurai that existed in the real world, had a hard life, and worked up to become one of the greatest samurais, and he was just from it. Just because he was born in Africa doesn't mean that he's not a samurai. He went, he was taken to Japan, he worked his way up, and it, he became a samurai. I mean, that's an honorable offense even for itself. But of course, people are going to be upset, and people are going to look at the absolute worst person that has ever lived and exist not the worst person who's ever lived, but the worst person who's living right now, because Henry Kissinger is dead now, but they're going to look at the worst possible person, Elon, super I am a supervillain Musk, that criticized the game for including Yusuke, because of course, if there's anything that makes uh, tw um, Twitter people online go crazy, it's um, having a black protagonist in a game. So, Assassin's Creed Shadow November launch. Creed Shadows releases in November 2024. An official timeline hasn't been released yet, but numerous trailers and teaser images have been posted to Twitter and Instagram. The game promises new fighting styles along with a dual protagonist storyline progression. I think this is going to be a good game. I mean, Assassin's Creed's kind of a weird, kind of a, kind of um, dumb now because the graphics aren't getting that good, aren't getting better because Ubisoft is cheap. But I mean. I think that the dual protagonist storyline is going to be pretty good. I mean, I'm, I'm hope hopefully people like the dual protagonist story progression because I think it's one of the better ones. It reminds me of a uh, Minecraft story mode, story mode where they had three protagonist lines you could go down, and I think that's pretty cool. 
but yeah this is going to be an interesting game i hope that they stay historically accurate but let's just remember the number one problem with this game is the fact that they're stealing those flag designs in that game logo kuiper Wright claims for ubisoft this should be better than this but i mean it's ubisoft what do we expect all right thank you guys so much for watching like if you like dislike if you don't subscribe if you like it i'll see you guys next time toodaloo have a blessed day